We are just one month out from Warhammer 3 releasing, but that doesn't mean that Total War historical fans are completely left out of the win. Just mostly. Feral Interactive, the team behind every Mac release of a Total War game, the team behind Rome Remastered, and the same team behind Rome Total War on mobile, has just the other day announced that not only are they working on Medieval 2 for mobile, but that it will be releasing sometime this spring. While that may seem a bit disappointing for some in the community, it's very easy for me to assume that a Medieval 2 on mobile is undoubtedly going to mean a Medieval 2 remastered. Although the process isn't quite so simple, and I'll explain why in this down and dirty condensed video. Let's dive in. First, why are we getting a Medieval 2 mobile version anyways? To put it simply, money. It always boils down to the dough, and Creative Assembly undoubtedly sees the advantage of getting Feral to port its most nostalgic Total War game to mobile, making it accessible on an even larger scale than before. If you take a look at the Apple App Store alone and Rome Total War on iOS, we can get an idea as to how lucrative this venture can be. Rome Total War is sitting at an average of $10, with 4.8 stars and well over 30,000 reviews across all countries, just on the Apple App Store. I tried to dig into some data to find the purchases to review ratio for the App Store in an effort to determine sales, but came up empty. Yet even if we were to use a super low ball estimate of 50 purchases for every review across its lifetime, this is based on some Steam platform analytics, Rome Total War Mobile has sold over one and a half million copies and has made in the ballpark of 10 to 20 plus million dollars up front. Again, only on the Apple App Store. I do want to state that this is a super rough estimate based solely on data I've tried to gather, so of course, don't quote me on it. Now, take Apple's cut of the profits, Barrel's cost to develop, their share of the profits, etc., etc., etc. Even if Creative Assembly were to take only 10% of the gross profits, and I would imagine it's more, by the way, they're still getting well over a million dollars in revenue for what can be assumed as little to no cost to themselves regarding manpower and development outside of, perhaps, support. With that in mind, you can gauge an idea of the success that Medieval 2 Mobile would have for both Feral and Creative Assembly. It's easy money for both of them, and I wouldn't doubt it if Medieval 2 Mobile doubled the sales of Rome considering its popularity amongst the community. If that weren't enough to convince you, advancements in mobile technology should do the trick. Let's face it, even five years ago, our phones pale in comparison to what they can achieve now. Mobile gaming has come a very long way since Rome Mobile first released, and Feral has released several other games since then, taking what they've learned, mistakes included, and refining those processes to create a more seamless experience. Medieval 2 on mobile will undoubtedly encapsulate the spirit of Rome Total War on a more complete scale, furthering sales even more from that standpoint. It's an extremely lucrative venture, and it's guaranteed to succeed. Alright, so Feral announced that Medieval 2 Mobile is coming within the next few months. But why didn't they just make a Medieval 2 remastered from the start? There's a couple of valid reasons. The first is inexperience, and I don't mean that in a negative light in the least. For some context, even before Rome Total War Remastered was released, the team at Feral knew the game at such an intense and passionate level that a majority of the team had well over 10,000 hours in the game each. That's between playing the original game, working on the Mac version, working on the iOS version, and eventually the remastered. The same cannot be said for Medieval 2, however. Having spent the last 10 years playing Rome Total War, there is a decent leap in mechanics, technology, battles, etc. that occurs within Medieval 2. And with the lack of experience even playing Medieval 2 for the team, grasping those mechanics, transforming the user interface, updating graphics, it's a process that Feral can surely do, just not very quick. The second reason is also simple. There's a process. With iOS being both successful and a large chunk of their development process, it just makes sense for Feral to start figuring out the game in the same stages as they developed Rome Total War. Start with the mobile version, get the kinks out, the errors, the freaky weird things all figured out on iOS, and then make a crap ton of money. Once revenue is flowing, take those structures from the old code to PC, 
remaster the game, bringing it up to modern standards while doing your best to control what it looks like and how it plays. While I don't know when Feral started working on Medieval 2 Mobile, it's very likely this was already in the process in tandem with Rome Remastered. Either that or Feral has completely proved me wrong and they figured out things pretty dang fast between Rome and Medieval 2 from a coding perspective. Even if this is true, they've been chugging through converting mechanics, graphics, and everything else to the mobile platform. And once the kinks get freed up and out of the core budget, they start figuring out Medieval 2 Remastered. If Feral and CA are business savvy, and I have very good reasons to believe that they indeed are, they've got a running estimate on Medieval 2 mobile sales, and will use that revenue to fuel the fires of industry and get cranking on a remaster very, very soon. And speaking of estimated sales, if we use the same formula from earlier in the video to determine how much Rome Total War Mobile has made, Rome Remastered sits at just shy of 7,000 reviews on Steam. Lowballing the same 50 purchases for every review, you're looking at almost 350,000 copies of Rome Remastered since it released at about 30 bucks each, even saying 20 bucks each due to an average factor of those who got it half off. That's an easy seven to $10 million that Creative Assembly and Feral have made. And basically all they had to do was market the thing, which even then was super cheap considering how they use the partner program to shove content into your faces as they do. A safe estimate then is that a Medieval 2 remaster would generate a ballpark of 12 to $20 million or more depending on how successful they are at remastering it and how successful they are at learning from their rather larger snakes from remastered. And that's not too dang shabby if you ask me. The big question then is this, when can we expect both of them? Well, Feral just announced it's releasing in the spring. With Warhammer coming out in February, it's safe to assume that CA wants that to be the only game soaking up the public's attention, and fairly so. With concurrent players, typically dropping off within two to four weeks post-launch of any game. I think Medieval 2 Mobile will start vamping its marketing campaign, this is Feral by the way, the first half of March, showing off gameplay and other features, eventually dropping a release date for, I would say, mid to late April. This allows CA to also release a DLC in late March or early April for Warhammer 3 without messing up the marketing cycle of CA or interfering with Feral's marketing schemes as well. Now, that's easy enough to guesstimate since we have a ballpark date already in mind. Medieval 2 Remaster, though? That one's harder to project. Rome Total War for iPad was released in 2016, iPhone and Android for 2018, and the remaster in 2021. Does that mean that Medieval 2 will follow the same production cycle? Not at all. Again, between technological advances in the mobile industry and the fact that this will be Feral's second time developing a game from mobile to remaster, I think this production cycle will be drastically faster, and I mean drastically faster. My guess? If mobile releases in April or even May, I think we'll see a remaster within a year to a year and a half. That gives Feral a handful of months to get feedback on the mobile version, use that feedback and improve on it for a little while, and then implement those features, feedback, and experience to crank through a remaster. Not in a crunch or a cutting corners aspect, but in a, hey, we've already done this with Rome, we understand the process sort of way. So Medieval 2 Mobile in let's just say Q1 of 2022, a remaster early to late Q1, possibly even Q2 of 2023. As I wrap up this video, I have to emphasize that this is indeed all conjecture. It may take feral years to make a Medieval 2 remaster. The Medieval 2 Mobile game might crash and burn, any sort of factors could screw up the entire process. But as much as Creative Assembly seemingly loves to ignore the community in several ways, they're also a company that knows how to utilize what they have and see opportunities to make some crazy good revenue for their higher ups. And this is hands down one of the easiest and most low risk ventures they could go into. So I'm banking on everything succeeding and the community getting both a mobile and a remaster of Medieval 2 within the next one and a half years. Let me know what you think in the comments section though. Do you have faith in Feral to do the job that needs doing? Would you even consider purchasing the mobile app or the remaster if they ever make it? How do you think this will all go down? I'd love to hear your feedback. Just as always, keep it constructive. And 
that will be it for this video on Medieval 2. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and turn on bell notifications. Stick around and enjoy some of my other videos. This is Havoc, and I will see you all in the next one.